Well, do you recognize this little guy? Oh, he's just out of food. <laughs> this is Norton, and he seems to be enjoying all the attention. So what did we say? It was 9.2 kilos. And he was 2.5. How heavy is he now? 9.2. What was he? 2.5. Yeah. So what made Norton's case so exceptional? ARH surgical specialist Dr. Sarah Goldsmith explains. Around his esophagus, like a rubber band. So basically he's got like a constriction, a rubber band around his esophagus, just where his heart is. So all the food gets stuck there. So he's got this very big dilated balloon of an esophagus in front of that, which is why he keeps bringing up all his um, saliva and food, um, water and so on. Uh, and he can't get through, it's just stuck. So he's basically starving to death. Um, so what we're going to do is try and break down that rubber band so he has um, a wider diameter to get the food through. But it's an issue and we can't promise that he's going to be alright, but we're going to give it a good go, aren't we? And give it a good go they did. The procedure taking the best part of three hours, assisted by um, surgical intern Dr Simon and so, Nurse Casey. Yeah. Finally, six weeks after his life-saving operation, Norton's back yeah, for a checkup. Times almost what you were. <laughs> He's put on a lot of weight. So he was 2.5 kilos when he left the building. I can't even remember how many weeks ago. Not that long ago. And he's 9.2 kilos. Big boy. 9.2 kilos. That's pretty impressive. And he's eating normal food three times a day. Just has to be slowed down, otherwise if he eats too quickly he still regurgitates. but he doesn't regurgitate if he eats slowly. And he's also having his hips looked at because we've been ignoring it, but he has all sorts of orthopedic problems as well. So he has um, hip dysplasia problems and his patellas are loose as well. But we won't tell him that yet. So Norton, as you can see, he's a bit sleepy now because he's just had an anaesthetic and he's had his CT scan. We've been checking his esophagus to make sure things are improving. Although we kind of know they're doing well because look at his size. So two and a half kilos he was when we first saw him when we did the surgery. And he now weighs 9.2 kilos. And I haven't actually worked out how long it is, but it's just in a few weeks really since he was here. Uh, and I, you can't recognise him, he's much more a normal size, but he's not fat, he's a good, he's a good weight, he's grown proportionally, so his bones have grown, um, we've just been CT, oh, sorry, x-raying his hips and looking at um, his hip dysplasia, which he's been diagnosed with before, and his hips I think even have improved, they're not normal, but um, I think because he's got more muscle mass, he's just a, um, got a little bit more improvement in his orthopaedic problems as well. But he's cuddly now, he's, he was so wriggly before. He's actually easier to cuddle now he's had an anaesthetic. And as you can see by these before and after videos, after just six weeks, Norton's doing exceptionally yeah, well. able to um, kind of play normally, run around normally. Uh, if he eats too quickly, he will regurgitate. If he um, has his foods kind of scattered across the ground so he can't gorge it in one mouthful, he's better. Um, but really, yeah, he's, he's being treated pretty much like a normal dog now. He's been desexed, he's been castrated. Good thing we don't need to breed more of the problems. But um, he's, um, he's gorgeous too. Yeah. You smell, puppy? 